<laughs> yes, sir. I have fishy. You have what? A fish. You got a fishy? Yeah. Man, that's awesome. This is just, this is crazy to me because like this is a, this is literally a dream come true to drive one of these. And I, again, like I said before, I never in my life thought that I would be driving a trophy truck ever, ever. Always wanted to, just, yeah. I never thought I'd have a chance, so it was never a dream of mine. I was just like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> it never seemed realistic. Come the f on, man. This is sick. Oh, oh man, my heart's f***ing just beating out of its chest right now, bro. I feel like a kid on one of the dirt bike tracks on Saturday morning and my dad is just oh, like, oh, man. let's go, let's fucking do it. Am I dad? What the fuck? No, I mean, no, it's just, no, never mind. <laughs> yes, dad. It's daddy. <laughs> fuck daddy. no, it's not. <laughs> no, it's fucking not. All right, how are we feeling right now? Thing is wild absolutely wild looking there's there's the, the trucks like twice as big as what i expected like legit <laughs> confidence wise how are you feeling because i personally feel 100 times better than when i got in it or when we got here yeah yeah now just uh being able to talk to them like chuck and jonathan like they're, they're they take the time with you which is like super essential for what you're about to do i mean you're about to take a three hundred thousand dollar truck out the desert like yeah you better be on your feet if you Justin, there, cool. All right. All right, so we're about to go. Um, I go in the, I, I hop in the passenger seat. It's gonna take me around, I don't know, I think it's like 20 or 40 miles. Hey, how, how, how long is that course that we're about to go on? 23 miles. 23 miles. All right, so we're going 23 miles all through the desert. And uh, yeah, I'll kind of get to know the terrain, know the truck. He's gonna teach me a lot of how he navigates. Cause again, I've never had a navigator before, so having that person in your ear kind of brings like back the whole NASCAR days with a spotter so that's kind of cool but uh yeah this is gonna be wicked absolutely wicked so after I do 23 miles of riding in the faster seat learning all the characteristics and the handling of this beast we'll come back and then um yeah time for me to jump in the driver's seat and hammer down <laughs> all right Chuck, I gotta ask you. You yes, gotta sir. be a little nervous riding with some people, right? Um. Have you ever had I one of them oh shit moments? Oh yeah. But if you're gonna crash me, guess what? You're gonna crash too. <laughs> <laughs> so you're nervous at all, or? No, this is gonna be fun. Take another NASCAR guy in the dirt. <laughs> you're converting them all. Converting them. Did you? Yeah. Well, some I real racing. The reason Chuck's able to sit in that seat is probably all the moto accidents he had. Probably <laughs> a few too many screws loose up there. <laughs> Chuck, <I'm all>
um, getting rid of all that circles. Oh, the spring car shit, forget <laughs> all that. You know what, we were talking about that when you were gone, and I go, one of the coolest things about what we do is every other form of motorsport, people do it, they come here and they go, all right, forget it, this is all I want to do now. Literally. And I'm like, yeah, it's easy for me, it's, it's not, <laughs> yeah. it's cheating. They're so like, forget my Porsche, Lamborghini, sprint yep. car, done, mm -hmm. I'm out. I'm with them. Yeah, and I, it's, it's like. I can't say anything different because, like something like this, I look at it like two ways. Uh, we work all week long and bust our nuts in the shop. Yeah. For 25 laps. That's the other thing we were talking about. You go to any kind of racing, right? You go out to a dirt bike track, you go to a sprint car, you get 20 minutes. Yeah. Even, you're even there the whole damn weekend. Yes. And you're like, I got 20 minutes, wait yeah. four hours, 20 minutes. No, you get to go drive for 10 hours. Straight. <laughs> like, Straight. done. Yeah. That's what it's all about. I, yeah. I like that aspect of yeah. it. I mean, this is like, I can seriously consider myself flying out here, showing up to the track, yeah. and, and just doing this. Working down the back straightaway, Faison continues to lead the way. Working more traffic out of turn number four as we get close to the halfway point. Dave Brown keeping him in his gun sights. The 45 of Nagy closing behind him. That time out of corner number four, Jeff, the leader, CJ Faison, almost put his right rear into the wall. Here in the front straightaway, they're your leaders, working three and four. Brown was keeping pace with Faze and has so far never offered a challenge. And CJ guiding, getting through lap traffic masterfully, but boy, he's got a pack of them ahead of him with five to go. Yeah, traffic is definitely gonna be a factor here. In clean air, Faison's got Brown's number, but in traffic, well, we're gonna find out. Corner inside the final five, now Faison right up near the wall. Into the corner, picks up a couple more cars as he laps him going down the back straightaway, keeping the lead over Dave Brown. Faison wins it over Dave Brown. Car, he is climbing up to the wing. Ladies and gentlemen, C.J. Faison. We're down at Brunthal Industries today in where we Paris, California. Um, as you can see, massive shop, trophy trucks all around us because I am going to be co-driving with CJ Faison at the Mint 400. I don't know what to expect. I don't think he knows what to expect. Uh, we do have two days of testing under our belt now, which is pretty cool. Uh, I've raced dirt bikes my whole life and this is a different animal. Um, this, like, just look at the tire in these trucks, you know? Like you're going over bumps that are up to the tires, if not bigger, and these trucks are just handling it. You know, giant suspension packages. Uh, these trucks are something that I've seen before in movies and video games, but never in real life. I never realized how freaking crazy they are and how, how many uh, components make this truck. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna be navigating. I'm gonna be in the passenger seat, actually. <laughs> Zero control, putting all my trust in TJ. Uh, he's putting some trust in me too. Um, but yeah, we're gonna be going through the course. I don't know why we picked like one of the biggest races in the USA for our first one, but that's just kind of how we do things, you know? Yeah, I'm gonna be sitting there with the GPS, uh, looking at points, and essentially I'm gonna be calling out just kind of the guidance and directions for him because this isn't like a course that you can go drive and practice during the week. So we have markers as we go, but we don't know if over this crest there's a 20 foot drop or if there's a big jump or there's a whoop section ahead. Right here behind me is Brenthal Industries, and this is the most impressive off-road facility you will ever step foot into. Absolutely massive, and it's full of half a million dollar trophy trucks everywhere you look. Some of them are worth 750,000, but most of them, $500,000 for a trophy truck. If you were ever to build like a dream race shop, like this is it right here.